today I will reveal to you one of the best AI tools in the market right now that they just announced by uh, Google, and that is uh, AI Studios by Google. Uh, this is the web page uh, from the AI Studios. But basically, Google combined everything AI it had into uh, this tool. Uh, a lot of uh, features from this tool is uh, in the beta version, uh, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, test it for you. And uh, this is one of the best tools uh, that uh, I came across. It's uh, very useful for uh, several engineers. In Google EA Studio, uh, the newly released platform has arrived at a pivotal moment in the era of AI agents. So right now we are uh, building a lot of uh, AI agents, AI models. So this is one of the best tools that can help uh, all these agents work seamlessly with each other. So Google AI, uh, AI Studio, the newly released platform has arrived. And uh, this is one of those moments in the era of AI agents where automation, customization, and intelligent systems are reshaping uh, almost every industry. And that includes civil engineering industry as well. Uh, basically, this AI uh, tool uh, empowers users to build, customize, and deploy advanced AI-driven agents with ease offering uh, a highly intuitive interface for both developers and non-developers alike. So if you know how to code or you don't know how to code, uh, this tool uh, is very useful for you uh, to use it. By combining the power of Google's advanced machine learning models, all the models that, that Google uh, ever have, like example, the Google DeepMind, the Gemini's, uh, Gemini 2.0, uh, or the recent one, the 2.0 Flash, uh, all is combined in this uh, AI Studio tool. And uh, by combining those power of all Google's advanced machine learning models and a user-friendly design, AI Studio significantly lowers the barrier to entry uh, for creating complex and, and personalized uh, AI solutions. Its ability to integrate seamlessly with other Google uh, Cloud services further enhances its utility, enabling businesses to deploy AI agents across a variety of tasks. So today I'm gonna test uh, this uh, on a number of uh, civil engineering software or programs that uh, almost every civil engineer is familiar with. So first of all, let's go to the pricing. The pricing for this is uh, Pretty uh, amazing. Like the free tier of this is almost free, char free of charge with 1 million token. So it's pretty much free. The only catch is like, uh, because it's during the beta version, uh, whatever you're feeding into uh, this AI studio. So Google, if you're using the free tier, Google is going to use that to uh, retrain uh, their model and improve their products. And if you're going to pay for them, uh, so it's very uh, minimum amount, like, you know, it's not even considerable amount. Uh, those are very cheap uh, for 1 million. And for example, this one is uh, like uh, almost two and a half cents for 1 million tokens. So those are pretty uh, cheap prices uh, if you, uh, you want your own privacy and you don't want your data to get leaked. And if you're look, working with the public data and all free data, it's, uh, uh, the free tier is an amazing deal. Uh, everything is free as your Google search, exactly the same thing. In Google search, you're using free, but in the back end, uh, you're basically training the Google's deep mind. And if you're using the paid version, then that data or whatever you're searching, that's not going to go uh, to train its model. They have a variety of uh, different models, like uh, let's say Gemini 1.5 Flash. It has like different uh, prices and different uh, capabilities. Imagine 3, 2.0 Flash Lite, and 2.0 Flash. I guess this is the uh, recent one. So and these are, you can see on the top right, uh, here are all a uh, list of these uh, models that they've used. So this is a pretty uh, amazing deal. So you can try it and most of the features are in beta version. 
And I'm going to try it today with uh, some AutoCAD and Midas uh, symbol or some CSI bridge uh, to see how it works. And uh, let's go ahead and sign in and create an account. So we're uh, signed in. So this is the first disclaimer or the consent form that you have to say, I, I accept or I agree with the terms of agreements of Google Incorporation. It's the chat GPT that we all know how to do it. The most fascinating thing, let me write as a prompt to you, and that's, uh, and that's a surprise. If I share my screen, would you be able to navigate and instruct me how to use my as devil? So at the beginning, it says uh, as a large language model, I'm uh, not able to do it on computer, uh, interact with your computer screen. Therefore, I cannot control your computer to provide a step-by-step -step instruction while you share a screen. However, I can still help you with Midas several here and open uh, together. You share your specific questions, and these are all like how I do it for you. This is CSI Bridge, Midas here. I can turn up the speaker a little bit. Is there anything else I can do? Oh, do you see my screen right now? Yes, I can see your screen. It appears to be a program called Midas Civil, showing a welcome page. Is there anything specific you'd like me to look at on the screen? Yeah, uh, uh, this is the uh, uh, opening the screen, and I just want to create a new, uh, simply supported, single span, concrete superstructure bridge. How should I do it? Okay. It looks like you want to create a new, simply supported, single span concrete superstructure bridge in Midas Civil. To begin, you could click on the new project button on the welcome screen. Would you like me to guide you through the next steps? Uh, yes, please. Okay. After you click new project, a new window will appear for the project settings. This is where you will define the basic parameters of the structure. Would you like me to explain the project settings window? Uh, yes, please. Where should I go? Okay. Now that you've created a new project, the main working area is displayed. You can see that the model space is currently empty, which is expected for a new project. To begin modeling your bridge, you will need to define the structure. This can be done using the menu at the top of the screen. Do you have any specific tools in mind you want to use? Or should I suggest the next logical step? Uh, yes, go ahead. Uh, suggest the next logical step. A common starting point for modeling a bridge is to define the nodes of the structure. To do this, go to the Structure tab in the top menu, then find the Node slash Element section and select Node. This will allow you to place nodes in your model space. Should we continue with this approach? Node slash Element is a section within the Structure tab, not a separate tab itself. So to create a node, you would indeed first go to the Structure tab at the top, and then within that tab in the Node slash Element section, you can select the Create option to place your first node. Shall we try this now? Yes, I just clicked on Create Nodes. So what next? OK, you have the Create Nodes window open. Now you need to define the location of your first node using the coordinates x, y, z input fields. For a starting point, you can use 0 for all coordinates to place the node at the origin of the model space. After inputting the coordinates, press the Apply button. Shall we do that now, or would you like me to explain any of the other options in this window? Uh, I just did it, and I believe uh, they created a little node here. I can see a small orange dot, which represents your node at the origin of the model space. This confirms you have successfully created your first node. What would you like to do next? Perhaps create another node to define a span or a support point? Uh, yes, please, like a 30-foot span. To create the next node 30 meters away from the first one, you can enter the coordinates 30, 0, 0 in the coordinates X, Y, Z fields within the Create Nodes window. Make sure the start node number is set to 2 and then press Apply again to place the second node. Shall we proceed this way? Yes. And I just created uh, one node, but I don't know where that node is. I see. You mentioned that you created a second node, but it's not visible in the model space. I can see that the start node number is currently set to 3. This could be the reason for this issue. To find the missing node, you can try going to the View tab in the top menu and select the Zoom Extents option. This command will automatically adjust your view to display all objects in the model. Would you like to try that now? Oh, I did Zoom Fit to fix it for me. Okay, I found another node. 
Great, I see the second node now at a distance from the first one. It looks like you've set up the basic span for your simply supported bridge. Would you like to continue modeling by adding more nodes, creating an element, or shall we explore another tool? Well, uh, how can I do uh, like a line between these two nodes, like a spine model? Okay, you're looking to create a line or element connecting the two nodes, which would essentially represent the bridge's span. To do that, you'll need to use the element tool, which is also within the node slash element section of the structure tab. You can select the create button and choose the type of element you want to add. I just clicked on it and I'm on it right now on the element tab. Okay, now that you have the create elements window open, you'll need to define the connection between your two nodes. The node number fields should be set to one and two, representing your start and end nodes respectively. You can also select the type of element as general beam. After you've selected these, press the apply button to add the beam between your two nodes. Would you like to proceed this way? So this is my node number one, and the second one is node number two. The node number fields in the create elements window determine which nodes you connect to create an element. The start node number is the beginning of the element, and the end node number is the end. Since you want to connect your first node to the second, you should set the node number fields to 1 and 2. This means that the element will start at node 1 and end at node 2, creating a beam connecting the two nodes. Does this clarify the concept of connectivity for you? I'm having problems. With okay, I noticed you got an error message. Yes. I see that an error message appeared at the bottom of your screen. It says, the node entered in the element number 1 is incorrect. It seems that there is an issue with the connectivity of the element. Looking back at the Create Elements window, I see that you have node number set to 1 in both the Start node number and End node number field. For an element to connect two nodes, you need a different End node number than your Start node number. To connect your first node to your second one, you need to set the End node number to 2. Oh, all right, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it. You saw how detailed the instructions were. And th this is just amazing. Uh, let me uh, re-share my screen and uh, use it on AutoCAD. So let's uh, share a screen again. Can you see my screen right now? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you have AutoCAD open. Is there something specific you would like to discuss about it? I want to create a, a square, 20 by 20 uh, units. Okay, so you want to create a 20 by 20 square in AutoCAD. Have you already started the line command? Not yet. So should I write line? Uh, or what is the shortcut? You can type L and press enter to start the line command. Would you like to try that now? I just did it. Okay, it started. Great. Now that you have started the line command, you can click the screen to set your first point and then type 20 and press enter to set the length of the line at 20 units. Do you want to try that now? I want to be like at zero angle, zero degree. To draw the line at zero degrees, after you have clicked the first point, type at 20 less than zero feet and press enter. This tells AutoCAD to draw the line 20 units long at an angle of zero degrees from the first point. Would you like to try that? Uh, could you please repeat it? Sure. After clicking your first point, type at 20 less than 0 feet, and then press enter. This will draw a line 20 units long at a 0 degree angle relative to the point you clicked. Would you like to try that now? Perfect. Okay. Great. You have the first line of your square. What would you like to do next? Just complete the uh, square for me. I'll now you can type at 20 less than 90 feet, and press enter to draw a line 20 units long at a 90 degree angle from your last point. Then, you can type at 20 less than 180 feet and press enter to draw the third line. And type C and press enter to close the shape. Uh, Would you like to uh, try that? At the end of the first line. To start the next line from the end of the first line, after you have typed L and hit enter, instead of clicking on the screen, click on the very end of the line you already drew. This will ensure that the lines are connected. Would you like to try that? Click the endpoint of the first line and then type at 20 less than 90 feet and press enter. This will draw the next line of your square. Do you want to do that now? Now to draw the third line, click on the endpoint of the second line you drew and then type at 20 less than 180 feet and hit enter. This will draw a line 20 units long at an angle of 180 degrees from your last point. Would you like to try that now? 
To close the square, you can type C and then press Enter. This will close the shape by connecting the last point to the first one. Would you like to try that now? It didn't work. It looks like you might have clicked a point in the middle of the drawing instead of on the end point of the last line you drew. To correct this, you can hit Control dash actions. Then, try again to click the end point of the last line to continue drawing the square. Uh, no, I fixed it. Now I see like a lot of grids on Great. the screen. How to get rid of all these grids? I want to see like just a blank page. To turn off the grid display, you can press the F7 key. Is there anything else I can help you with? Could you please help me out with CSI Bridge Canvas, how to start a new project? To start a new project in CSI Bridge, you can click on the File menu in the top left corner, and then select the New Model option. And what next? Okay, now you should see a window pop up, where you can select what type of model you want to create. Would you like me to walk you through the options in that window? Well, yeah, uh, we can uh, refresh this and then go ahead, uh, retry it. So you saw how fluent and how uh, coherent all the instructions and tutoring were. Right? This is amazing. And if you have like all these different sophisticated engineering problem uh, software packages, then you, you can definitely uh, try this Google AI Studio. At least you can get a, a good start and head start on all these uh, software and uh, the functions, the properties, the menus, the features, it will have like a good explanation as if somebody's talking to you, you know, it's a tutor.